morning folks, uh, today is Thursday the 21st, it's the penultimate day of the cruise, uh, we go home tomorrow, uh, we're here in the buffet and I've got a breakfast, which you can see is sausage, bacon, fried bread, mushrooms and a fried egg. Um, I did have some porridge. Uh, which I had in the other restaurant because this at the time was packed solid so it's uh, thinned out a little bit now so I'll be able to get uh, the main breakfast here now so I'm going to tuck into this and I'll let you know what it's like bye for now right folks, uh, well it wasn't bad uh, the uh, yolk was nice uh, the top was a bit, little bit runny not being fully, fully fried but there you go uh, sausage, the, the, the sausage was really nice. It's been really nice all, all through. That's the one good thing I'll say about them. They, it's a, that breakfast sausage is a lot better than on the other ships that I've been on. <clears throat> Who knows, it might be the, just the, the chain supplier. and uh, They might be just as work good on the other ships now because they might be using that same sausage. Anyway, <clears throat> we may Hopefully we'll find out next year when I'm hoping to go on a cruise with my daughter. Um, yeah, and another slight change is that the girl come round with a trolley with asking if you want tea or coffee. <laughs> I suspect that the uh, Help Yourself one has broken down. That's probably why they're doing it. Might be wrong. Usually are, as my daughter will uh, testify to. Um, but that's what I suspect. But it's nice, it's a nice gesture, you know. Yeah, thinking people can't get tea, the teas and coffees so easily, we'll go around with a trolley. Yeah. It's probably because it's Christmas as well, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, but there you go. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to sit here and relax for five, five minutes or so. But I'll probably uh, take my coffee, take my tea, and uh, go out onto the pole deck area because um, people are still coming in and uh, they'll want the table. So I'll speak to you later. Bye for now. Centre or what, but uh, a bit of a harbour here. There's a cafe there. I 
I mean, I don't know what's down here, but <laughs> everybody went this way, so. It's sort of like a seafront area, obviously. But uh, it's all cafes. I don't think I'm going to get myself a fridge magnet down here. It's all this. <laughs> Right folks, I found a little shopping area and uh, can't quite make it out. Yeah, you can see one with a black name on the top, tab, something or other. It's mostly for vapes and other tobacco products. And yeah, it's this little string. And I finally got my magnets. Two, two euros fifty per magnet, so five euros for two magnets. That's my one for Phil. I've got spare ones at other places for other people. But it's just for me and Phil, it's them two. Okay, so uh, I achieved what I set out to do. There's uh, not a lot to see, to be honest. Uh, so I'm going to slowly make my way back to the ship because it's a fair walk, I can tell you. So we'll speak to you later. Right folks, uh, here we are. Back towards that bridge that we crossed earlier. Oh, oh where you get the bus back to the port. Oh, it's about five minutes walk that way. But uh, yeah. Certainly got my steps in this time. So yes pretty enough. It's been a long walk to get two fridge magnets, I can tell you. And you watch, I'll get back into port and they'll have a shop in there selling fridge magnets. There you go. Speak to you later. There we are. Coming into the port.
rooms. Here we are, back in the cabin. This is the view from my balcony. I'm lucky that we are parked on the dock side. Well, folks, uh, don't know what's going to happen really because uh, another part, another one without any shopping. Um, nothing we could I could find in Tenerife. Uh, there was not uh, nothing in Madeira, but then I knew there isn't one in Madeira. But then there weren't, weren't anything in Gran Canaria, and uh, there's not anything in this part, Lanzarote. Yet when we came in March, Madeira was the only part that didn't have uh, a duty free shop. You know, so in Tenerife, oh yes, you did. The, the, there was a sh little shop in Tenerife. I forgot about that. Small shop in Tenerife. Uh, but Lanzarote, Gran Canary and um, Madeira all had no shops in them at all, you know, selling your usual stuff, your fridge magnets and everything and and your duty free uh, alcohol, tobacco etc. So none of it was, none of these shops and yet as I say in March they all but uh, Madeira had things in them. They are sort of Maybe rebuilding or what have you, I don't know, but uh, yes, strange. There you go. So it's a good job I did do that long walk. Must have been, oh, my neck. It must have been uh, a mile and a half to two miles into the centre town uh, to find somewhere that sold fridge magnets. So there you go. But uh, yes, I'm back now. And it's um, just coming up to 12 o'clock and uh, I'll rest for a little bit and then I'll go see what they've got on for lunch and um, I'll see you at lunch and we'll uh, <clears throat> go over what they've got. So, bye for now. Right folks, um, longer than nice. Mark's out of 10, 5, maybe a 6. I get sweat. How to describe them? They were just dryish meat. Noodles are terrible. Cold out of them. Mashed potatoes were nice. Yeah, they were really nice. So, um, and the roast that they had on, they were roast pork, so it were what were on last night. I didn't fancy that again. Yeah, so, uh, as I say, all in all, five. I have to admit, I think we'd safely say it's the uh, the worst lunch we've had so far. Although we haven't had all the lunches, but uh, yeah, the worst lunch I've had in the buffet. So there you go, folks. So uh, we might go and see what puddings they've got and uh, we decide to get one I'll come back to you otherwise I'm gonna go get up a couple of bottles of coke and go down to my cabin because <laughs> I've still got 11 pounds 70 on me uh, on board spending which I've got to spend today and as all shops are closed and they won't open until late tonight after we sail oh mind you we sail at 4 30 all aboard 4 30 so we're We'll probably set sail at five and shops will be open from about six. Yeah, so I might just get the one bottle of coke. So, uh, speak to you later. That's the entrance to the port there, folks. So we're going to swing round. And we'll be going out.
Yeah, folks, it's uh, perishing the cold. I'm going to put my coat on. When did they do say it is windy in Lanzarote? Uh, but yeah, I had another advantage of um, my balcony. You can um, film as leaving uh, without worrying about uh, copyright music. So if you went up, up on top deck, uh, you'd have all this copyrighted music blaring out. So, uh, yeah, we're swinging round anyway. And uh, it's, uh, I should maybe about another 15, 20 minutes before we actually on his way out of the thing. Interesting, she did say, um, the captain said, sorry, not she, the da captain said that we actually go past Future Ventura on the way out. So I'll see if I can watch out for that. That's where Adele and uh, Phil went last year. When was it? Uh, trying to think. Oh, September, yeah. Right, beginning of September, they went there. So uh, I'll watch out for Future Ventura. Get, catch it, I'll, uh, I'll film, I'll try and film it. Depends on what time we get past it. I mean, it might be dark with it, so anyway. Right folks, um, we said it's come down to the restaurant for the last last evening meal. Um, I've ordered some tomato and basil soup. Uh, standard soup, they seem to have on every night, and that's really nice soup, so that's why I've gone for it. Um, I've gone for the steak tonight, which uh, I've gone for medium, because I don't know what it is, just one right one that too, uh, right? So, anyway, so good for medium. And I've also uh, ordered some uh, extra portion of the uh, king prawns, because they have king prawns on garlic and brandy uh, sorted king, king prawns, so I've ordered a portion of them as well. Um, you know, without, their veg without the vegetables go with them, but just the vegetables go with the, uh, with the steak. Uh, and to finish off, uh, I've gone for a, a mixture of ice cream, although I suspect they'll just give me two vinegar and one of the other ice creams, like they've done every time. So, uh, anyway, I'll show you it when it comes. Um, so, uh, bye for now. Yeah, my daughter and her boyfriend were there in September. Right, folks, uh, I've just eaten the soup. Um, I forgot to film it when it arrived, but there you go. You've seen it before on, on other days, so you know what tomato looks like. Very, as usual, very, very tasty, most enjoyable. We're just waiting for his dinner now. Right, folks, um, there's the tiger prawns. They come with all extras. I thought they did give me a portion of the tiger prawns, but they didn't. And there's the steak. Beans, broccoli, chips, and the sauce. I'm not sure what the sauce is. So, there you go, folks. I'll get tucked into this. I'll let you know what it's like. 
Right, just a quick update. Um, the steak was really nice. The prawns were beautiful. Um, I didn't bother with all the rest of the stuff. I just wanted the prawns. The chips were quite nice. Uh, just green beans. Uh, broccoli, because I never took this. Anybody that knows me knows I don't like broccoli at all. But uh, yes, so uh, me uh, pudding has arrived, so I'll show you that. You can see, you have no idea what it is, a vanilla and something. And a biscuit. Okay. Yeah. And so I'm going to tuck into that and I'm waiting on red light. Well, folks, um, that's it for tonight. I've uh, done my bag, labelled it up, put it outside. Um, yes, it's a good system here on this cruise anyway. What happens is, is I put my bag out there and the next time I see that bag, I'll be on the carousel in uh, Manchester Airport. Yeah, so it says me lugging it about here, there and everywhere. A couple of interesting things. Um, first of all, in the restaurant, uh, I met three nice ladies who were called... They're called Lauren, Joanne and Bethany. Three very nice ladies. Got nice chatting to them. So big, big shout out to the ladies. Um, yeah. And and then um, a bit later on, I was downstairs getting some uh, sweets and that for trip back. And this chap comes to his uh, big bars uh, chatting. I've had quite a few people say, that before but this guy says what it was is is he was he's with his family and it's he were telling girls how he says it caught his eye because um a relative one of his their granddad i think the granddad or something uh is called baz and what have you and we, we got chatting and uh and he asked to take his photograph with me so the girls took his his photograph with me um he never told me his name. I know I forgot to ask him his name. So, but the gentleman who had his photograph taken with me, big thumbs up, mate. Big thumbs up. I hope you've watched this. Uh, you've been watching this series and that you've subscribed uh, and pressed the like button. So I'm hoping that uh, will. So that's nice because that's the second person who I've met who I've shown a real interest in the in the channel. Um, well, no, third, third, really, because the lady in the lift looked at the um, the name on the cap, on the cap, and said, "You know what?" And I told her it was my YouTube channel, and um, a mum bless her saying, "Well, what's a YouTube channel?" <laughs> she, yeah, I'll tell you in a minute, mum. I'll tell you in a minute. Uh, and she said she was going to look it up, and that, and uh, yeah, come with it. I've had a few people say they were going to look it up, but whether they actually do or not is a different matter. But yeah, anyway, so that's the end of, of today. Um, so I'll see you all again in the morning as we prepare to uh, go home. So it's good night from me and it's good night from him. Bye.